Today for Miles Trap Monday, we're gonna try to catch some rats in the chicken coop with these snap style traps made by the Nest Manufacturing Company. I have the new modern version and the original version. We'll have to have a contest to see which one works better. This trap was first called the Cook's Quick Catch Rat Trap. It had a wooden base and a metal trigger and it seems to work really well, but they don't sell this style anymore. So we'll have to test it out and see why. The new modern version is called the Big Snappy. Now I already posted a video on the Snappy Mouse Trap. This is a very popular style and it works well. This trap was first patented on December 8th, 1987 and is still being sold today. So it's lasted the test of time and that's because it works. It's very easy to set. We have the trigger pad right here and a place for bait right in the middle. There's two powerful springs and a locking mechanism. To set it, you pull this back and it clicks into place. Just one hand, very easy. And safe, with this upper bar here, you don't have to pull your fingers on the kill bar and worry about getting them smashed. Now setting the cook trap is very similar. You just pull back the top wire, getting the triggers right there. The idea is the rat comes along, steps on the trigger, and you got them. And both are very sensitive. These traps seem like they're gonna work really well. Let's go set them up in the chicken coop, both the new and old version, and see which one works better at catching those big Norway rats. Last night, I set up the old and new version of Ness's snap rat traps, and we got one rat. Not in the old one, that failed. The rat took the bait, set off the trap, but did not get caught. But the new one worked great. The rat went in there, stepped on the pedal, and got snapped. Now I have to be really selective in the footage I show on YouTube. Lately, they've been instantly demonetizing my videos. And even if I'm very careful what I show, oftentimes when I peel it, it gets denied. So if you wanna see the full sequence of this rat trap in action, I'll put it on my website. But I don't want the huge rat we caught in this trap to go to waste. I'm going to set it up in the woodshed and see if a skunk or a possum comes along and has a rat snack. Well, we have quite a bit of wildlife living in the woodshed. There's two opossums, a scraggly male and a huge female. Her pouch is so full the babies are starting to poke out. 
And we also have a skunk coming by. In my next video, we're gonna try to catch the skunk and the large opossum in a live catch trap. That way I can show you the best way to catch and relocate skunks without getting sprayed. And we wanna take a look at the babies inside the pouch of that huge mama. Now those are different opossums than the ones that come to my compost pile. The woodshed's a few miles away. But I think it'll be fun seeing if we can catch the skunk and the mama opossum. But overall, the big snappy work well. Great at getting large rats. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.